dealing with culture shock. I moved to Edinburgh from Kazakhstan almost six months ago on a year-long exchange program and it was a tough transition. I read somewhere that this is called culture shock and it's a natural response to moving country. When I first arrived, I was wide-eyed with amazement. I'm from Nur Sultan, so I'm used to super tall skyscrapers and shiny modern buildings. Edinburgh is nothing like that. Every building is made from stone and has a long, rich history. The people were friendly and welcoming, and I giggled at how they seemed to apologize for everything. A couple of months in, the novelty started to wear off. I was terribly homesick. Little things began to bother me. For instance, there was such a diversity of accents there. No two people sounded the same. So often, I couldn't understand what the locals were saying. Another issue I had was that the stores closed so early. I would try to go shopping in the evening only to find that everything had already closed at 6 p.m. I couldn't understand how people managed to get what they needed while also studying or working in the daytime. By month four, I started getting used to how people talked and miscommunication became less of a problem. I started scheduling my day to fit the pace of life here. My frustration and homesickness faded and I made some friends which really helped me to assimilate gradually. These days, I'm totally at home here. I've got loads of great friends and I know the place like the back of my hand. In another few months, I'll be heading back to Kazakhstan. It might take some time to get used to being in my home country again though, because I have a feeling I'm going to be hit with a case of reverse culture shock. <laughs>